what is circuit breaker let's see this with some examples have you ever plugged in blow dryer and it suddenly blooms you use your flashlight to find the electrical distribution panel which is usually hidden somewhere behind a door or in your basement by observing this you locate that one switch that looks different than other and you flip it and magically you have light again but what is that what actually caused that to happen well the circuit breaker tripped today we are going to look at what a circuit breaker is why they are needed and how they work Consider an example where user wants to do a booking in a flight system. As part of this, a request first comes to the API gateway. Then, from the API gateway, the request routes to the booking service. It creates a booking reference number and then invokes the flight service to update the seat details for the flight. Booking service also invokes the payment service to process the payments. as this is a microservice architecture so we are going to call one or more services from one service there might be chances that some services may encounter issues for example the booking service or flight service may experience downtime or they respond slowly due to the performance or database problems let's say during this time multiple requests come to the api gateway and there are multiple instances of booking service api gateway will try to call the multiple instances of booking service and all the requests will end up in error okay because booking service is down here what happens is api gateway take all the requests blindly and is passing all the requests to the booking service because api gateway does not know what booking service is it is either up or running or it is healthy or not so the booking service is down and api gateway pass all the request to booking service and it's just a waste of resource and waste of time so we can have a mechanism which will constantly check whether booking service is working or not and if it is failing let's say not send any request and let's wait for some time to start that particular service and when the service is up then send all the request it's a human behavior right like why to send a request if we know it will return an error so then wait until it is up it makes sense right this scenario circuit breaker will help us so circuit breaker is a design pattern used in software development to enhance the resilience and stability of distributed system it act as a safety mechanism for remote service calls or network communication circuit breaker has several benefits like fault tolerance fail fast graceful degradation automatic recovery monitoring and metrics so i hope now you understand why circuit breakers are needed what is circuit breaker now let's see how we can use it the circuit breaker is implemented via a finite state machine with three normal states closed open and half open if the communication between services is fine indicating the absence of any issues the circuit breaker will be in a closed state in this state the communication flows as usual however if the booking service for example encounter some problem and it fails to operate as expected the circuit breaker will transition to an open state in open state further calls to the booking service are blocked since it does not make sense to continue calling a service that is known to be malfunctioning the circuit breaker remain open for a specified duration during which it can either throw a error message or execute a fallback logic for instance a potential fallback could involve caching the previous response from the booking service and utilizing the cache data after a certain period the circuit breaker transition to a half open state in this state it gradually start accepting request to the booking service to test whether the service has recovered or not if the request is still fail the circuit breaker reverts back to the open state blocking 
calls in executing fallback logic however if the request are successful indicating that the booking service is operational again the circuit breaker switches back to the closed state allowing normal communication to resume we will implement circuit breaker in the api gateway as well as in the booking service to implement this logic we don't have to write the logic ourselves we have library called resilience 4j which will help us to do the circuit breaker logic spring cloud circuit breaker provides an abstraction across different circuit breaker implementations it will provide different implementations for resilience 4j and spring retry we will be using resilience 4j in our project to implement the circuit breaker prior to resilience 4j netflix strix was used from the spring 3.0 onward the netflix strix is deprecated and the resilience 4j is a lightweight fault tolerance library which is specifically designed for functional programming also it provides several core modules like circuit breaker bulk head rate limiter retry time limiter cache we will try to implement most of this module in our application so let's stay tuned for this one in my next video